The guidelines posted on the NCCN COVID website provide guidance for outpatient ambulatory providers to triage the most urgent patients during the COVID-19 pandemic. This video provides some tips for redesigning your office and workflow to facilitate patient and staff safety during this crisis. When entering the care facility, patients and staff should be screened for fever, cough, and other COVID-19 symptoms and follow local guidelines for triage if patients answer positively to screening questions. Depending on local or institutional guidelines, patients may be encouraged to wear a mask or other personal protective equipment during their visit. Patients should be discouraged from touching elevator buttons, stair rails, or countertops on their way into the office or to wash their hands right after. Leaving the door to the office ajar can also help to decrease exposure. Your office space should be designed to encourage social distancing, minimize or disallow escorts or family members, space waiting room chairs six feet apart, and if possible, avoid using the waiting room at all, taking patients immediately into treatment rooms and remaining there until discharge, or have a patient wait in his or her car until a room is available. Do not have shared food or drinks for patients, and ensure a six-foot barrier in front of the check-in. You can consider placing a large table in front of the check-in or place a screen to increase social distancing. Consider verbal consent for HIPAA procedures and other forms instead of signing with an electronic pad or pen. If these must be used, provide a glove or alcohol wipe of instrument before signing. Cleaning of waiting room chairs and shared patient bathrooms can quickly be performed after each use with a germicidal cleanser. Procedure rooms should be carefully wiped down after each patient with attention to high-touch areas. Light switches, doorknobs, chairs, counters, phones, keyboards, pens, and mirrors. Communal staff areas, including staff space and lunch rooms, should be wiped down often. Surgical masks should be worn all day by the staff, except during lunch. Have minimal staff and procedure rooms and communal spaces, and maintain a six-foot distance except when performing exams and procedures. Promote regular hand washing, including before and after eating, breaks, and patient care. Clean hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and water or use a 60% alcohol hand sanitizer. If available, use fit-tested N95 respirators and face shields for prolonged facial contact. If N95s are unavailable, standard surgical masks with shields can be used for facial contact in those without COVID-19 symptoms. Follow your institution's specific guidelines for PPE use, reuse, and sterilization. Mass sterilization information, including UVC light and hydrogen peroxide vapor methods, are available on the NCCN COVID website. For small offices, a practical sterilization method is dry heat at 150 degrees Fahrenheit applied for 30 minutes. To minimize non-urgent return visits, use dissolving sutures, photographs, and video or phone visits whenever possible.